Greetings and welcome, welcome finally to my first ever English fragrance review. And as every single fragrance channel must do at least once in their history, we are going to be beating the dead horse that is Creed Aventus, or as the French like to say, Aventus. So, is this fragrance still the best men's fragrance, if it's uh, the best men's fragrance at all, in 2022? Let's uh, start the intro and then find out. All right, and the first thing I like to do with my fragrance reviews is, is actually look at the packaging, the box, and the bottle itself. Uh, however, since uh, Aventus has been on box at least like a million times, but this one we're just gonna go quickly through it. So, like every single Creed uh, fragrance, basically it comes in this cardboard box. This one is black with the logo up front. On the back, we got some history of the actual fragrance. Actually, the description, sorry, of the fragrance. And then on top we have the Creed logo and as well on the bottom we have some more information as well as the actual batch code which is unfortunately very important for the Creed fragrances. When we open the cardboard box we can find two pieces of paper, one of which contains the uh, alleged history of Creed which is uh, very much not proven. And then as we open the box we find our Creed Aventus bottle. Uh, but it's a pretty nice bottle I guess, however the cap is plastic and um, I feel like it might uh, lose its grip after some time, so be careful when lifting this bottle up. If you have an older bottle, it might drop, and we don't want that. So on the front we have the Creed logo uh, on the glass bottle, and as well as Aventus with what apparently is a Napoleon, I guess, riding a horse. Um, I'm not 100% sure. And on the back we have some more uh, royal families, or I don't know, like kings, that used Creed bottles as well as the size so this is a 100 ml bottle or 3.33 fluid ounces and the concentration is eau de parfum or edp uh, if i'm not mistaken so uh that's pretty much it in regards to the packaging and now let's talk about the notes uh the longevity projection and so forth and then we're gonna go a bit more in depth of how actually the fragrance smells and if it is worth it or not so uh, the notes are pretty famous for this fragrance. Uh, top notes are pineapple, bergamot, blackcurrant, and apple. Uh, mid notes are birch, patchouli, jasmine, and rose. And in the base we have musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. Um, longevity, at least for my skin and for my bottle, is 8 hours plus, so very, very good longevity. Uh, the projection is pretty good as well. Around I get around 2 meters of projection in the first hour, hour and a half. Then it, um, it goes down a little bit, it, be it becomes a little bit more of a skin scent and it has very good sillage or sillage depending on how you like to pronounce it. However, keep in mind this is for my Creed Aventus and my Creed Aventus is 18F21 batch code. Uh, for your Creed Aventus this might not be the case. <laughs> it's all dependent on batches but we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Uh, in regards to seasons when I would wear this fragrance, it's basically an all-season fragrance like you can wear this in the warmer months due, due to the fruity opening and in the colder months due to the sweetness and smokiness in the actual dry down. Um, as far as age groups that can wear this, I would say more or less all age groups could wear this. Uh, maybe the older batches would not be good for like teenagers for example because of the smokiness but with the newer batches I think this is appropriate for basically everybody. Um, and in regards to the occasion when I would wear this, uh, again, as with Seasons, you can wear this uh, as a casual fragrance or as a more as a fragrance for more uh, special occasions. It's all on you. I wear this mostly on like special occasions, like I wore this when I got my master's degree, when I had my job interviews, etc. So I don't wear this too much. As you can see, I didn't really use all that much of the juice inside. But yeah, that's because I use it for special occasions. I wear the clone of Aventus for everyday situations. But again, we will get to that a little bit later. So basically, how does the fragrance smell? Well, a pretty famous smell. I think most of you watching this have already smelled this fragrance. If not Aventus, then a million of the clones that exist. Uh, the opening is very fruity, um, especially in the newer batches. Uh, it's fruity with pineapple usually being the top note, the main note you can smell most. And we have the apple and the bergamot and the blackcurrant in background giving more of a support to the pineapple, which is definitely the most dominant. 
Then after that, as it, uh, after like half an hour, 45 minutes or so, it settles down and then it becomes very smoky and it becomes smoky from the actual birch, which is listed in the mid notes. So from the fruitiness, it went, goes to more smoky fragrance. And then at the actual dry down, the vanilla and the amber give it a more warm, sweet and nice um, dry down. So it's a very good actually, a very good transition from the fruitiness to the sweetness. I like it a lot. I remember the first time I tried Aventus in I think 2017 or 2018, I don't remember. I was blown away when I first put it on my skin. It was so fruity and so nice. And then afterwards it became smoky and then sweet. I was amazed because before that I only tried a couple of designer fragrances which, which were not so complex as this one. But yeah, that's basically how Aventus smells, at least for me. And uh, that's basically, basically how my batch of Aventus smells, at least for me. So. Now that we covered how it smells, the longevity, the notes, etc., let's talk a bit more in depth about the actual fragrance. So overall, Aventus does smell very pleasant, very nice. In fact, uh, I was very blown away when I first smelled it. However, there are a lot of, well, a few, maybe not a lot, but a few cons that I have with Aventus and Creed in general, which I think should be emphasized, starting with their history. Uh, they claim that they started in 1760 and have a long history of making fragrances. However, um, as far as to my knowledge, uh, maybe this is not a fact, but as far as to my knowledge, the earliest Creed bottles that were ever found date to the 1970s. So it is my personal opinion that uh, Creed made up their history uh, for marketing purposes. They're not as old as they claim. Uh, also, the perfumer behind Creed Aventus is uh, very uh, mysterious. Officially, the perfumers are Olivier and Urban Creed. However, recent information has surfaced that the actual perfumer uh, behind Creed Aventus is Jean-Christophe Herol. Uh, this is also alleged, so I'm not claiming this is a fact. Creed, please don't sue me. Uh, but yeah, apparently even the perfumer behind Creed Aventus uh, is not what the official statement is. Uh, as well, the price of the fragrance is crazy. Um, I cannot believe how expensive this is in the US. I thought European prices were high. Uh, US prices are almost double the European prices. For a 100 ml bottle in the US, it's almost $500 retail. In Europe, it's like $340, $350. Um, I think $340 is a lot, but $500 is just mind blowing. Uh, it's also funny because Creed Aventus before came in a 120 ml bottle, now it's 100 ml, so they actually lowered the amount and uh, made the prices even higher. Basically, I think Creed at this point is the equivalent of Apple in the technology world. Uh, if you understand, you understand. As well, the batch variations are a big con for me. Uh, because I emphasize a couple of times that this is an 18F21 batch, so I'm basically reviewing my batch of Aventus. Your Aventus might not smell the same. If you buy more recent batches of Aventus, especially from 2020 and 2021, you will notice if you smell it with an older batch, if you compare it, that uh, it's a lot more fruity and a lot less smoky, a lot less sweet. Uh, this is the issue with the batches. Apparently the older batches of Aventus were more smoky, more sweet, more rich while the newer batches are a lot more linear and a lot more fruity. Mine is somewhere in the middle, which is fine by me. I think that's a big issue because it's not consistent. And if you're watching a review of my, of my review, for example, of Ventus, your Ventus might not uh, necessarily smell the same. As well, uh, the hype is very big around this fragrance, even to this day, which I think is very much not deserved. Um, because of the hype, I actually bought the fragrance because when I was starting out, I just watched YouTube videos of big YouTubers like Jeremy Fragrance who always, would always say something like this. Creed Aventus, my most complimented fragrance. All right, this gets me super duper many compliments. And finally at number one, I'm sure if it hasn't been shown yet, this has to be it. This is Creed Aventus. This next scent is amazing, incredible just out of this world in my opinion. I've been wearing this for a while. I am talking about Creed Aventus, a class. It's just so, so good. And so I basically never even tried any other Creed fragrances or basically any niche fragrances outside of Aventus, which I believe is a big mistake. And I somewhat regret buying this bottle when I did because I could have bought uh, better bottles uh, of Creed. I could have bought um, Royal Lude instead, which I think is a better men's fragrance than Creed. 
a, a better than Creed Aventus, sorry, not Creed, Creed is a brand. But yeah, I believe Royal Wood, for example, is a lot better of a fragrance for men than Aventus. In fact, I think this is my favorite men's fragrance from the House of Creed. Then we have Green Irish Sweet at the second place, Spice and Wood at the third place, and Aventus maybe at the fourth place. However, even that is not, I'm not sure because I like uh, other fragrances from Creed a lot more sometimes than Aventus. I don't know, maybe I'm just a little bit bored with Aventus, to be honest. Uh, why am I bored with Aventus? Well, it's because of the clones, because so many clones of Aventus have been made at this point. We have Mont Blanc Explorer, we have Armav Club de Nuit Intense Matter, we have Mancera, Cedrat Boise, we have Roger Parfums Elysium, bar number nine has a clone of Aventus. Um, what's the name? Pineapple Vintage and so on and so forth. So many clones of Aventus at this point. Uh, people in FRAGCOM usually complain that Dior Sauvage is very boring because everybody wears them. However, in Serbia, I think I smell Creed Aventus or its variations more often than I did Sauvage. In fact, I think I only smelled Sauvage once going out, while I smell Aventus or something similar to Aventus many, many more times. So yeah, it's not a very unique smell at this point. Um, does it get compliments? Sure. I did get a couple of compliments with wearing Creed Aventus, but... Um, I don't think your goal should be necessarily to just get compliments wearing fragrances. Um, you should appreciate the art behind the fragrance, not the compliments. But yeah, that's just my opinion. So these are some cons. Uh, is it a great smell? Yes, I like the smell a lot. Is it boring? Yes. Is it overpriced? Absolutely. Do I recommend you buying this fragrance? No. Uh, explore the House of Creed. If you really want to buy something from Creed, explore it. There are better fragrances, in my opinion. Um, try to find them for cheaper don't buy retail prices they are extremely expensive you will not get your money's worth um if you really like aventus okay you can buy it but i suggest you try uh, some clones like club the intense man uh, while it is 10 times uh, cheaper than aventus aventus does not smell 10 times better in my opinion i think uh, price value proposition our moth beats aventus by a long shot but yeah, that's pretty much it in regards to the Aventus review. Maybe I've been a little bit more critical, but that's just uh, the way I feel about the fragrance at this point. If I did this review like seven, eight years ago, it would be a lot more positive. But at this point, I think you can buy a lot better fragrances, especially considering the retail price. And yeah, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, leave a thumbs down and please write in the comments some suggestions how I can re improve my content. Subscribe if you want to see future fragrance or wristwatch uh, videos. And until next time, guys, uh, have a great day and goodbye.